By now, you're probably becoming familiar with Canvas Editor. It's time to explore the extensive elements library, where you'll find shapes and lines, graphics, tables, charts, photos and videos, and so much more. You'll even be able to create your own visuals using the AI image generator. In this video, we'll show you how to navigate, find, and customize items from the Elements tab. Hover over Elements, and at the top, you'll find the search field. You'll be using this a lot. It's really the best way to find exactly what you need. The results are characterized by type, and you can filter here. Advanced filtering lets you choose color and orientation, whether it's animated or static. You can find out more information about each element by clicking on the ellipsis. Here, you'll see who made it, its price, and keywords. You can also start to find later, add it to a folder, or see more like this. This gives you magic recommendations of similar themes and styles. View more by this creator by clicking their name. Some elements belong to a collection, ideal for creating consistently themed designs. See the code at the top? Copy it for easy future reference or to share the set. Notice that when moving the cursor out of the elements menu, it will automatically close. If you want it to stay open, simply click on the elements button again and it will stay in place. Below the recently used section, you'll find shapes. Click see all and you can see pre-made line styles. You could also press the L key to add a customizable line to your page. This toolbar will change depending on what's selected. With lines, you can adjust color, style, weight, endpoints, and the type of line. Resize by dragging an endpoint or move the entire line like this. Rotate it here. Choose one of the predefined shapes from the menu and you'll see they work in a similar way. Don't want a square? Change to a triangle here. Adjust corner rounding like this. Double click a shape to type within it and adjust the font and style using the regular text tools. Drag your line to this point to attach it to the shape. Now you can move the shape around and it stays attached. Graphics is a catch-all term for things like icons, illustrations, stickers, and more. Most illustrations, but not all, allow color adjustments. On top of resizing and rotating, you can also crop or flip any graphic like this. Photos and videos are much the same, but deal with static and moving images, respectively. Both have a search bar at the top and a number of categories to show you what's trending or popular. When you see something you like, simply drag it into the editor. With it selected, you can open the edit menu and get access to all the image customization tools. The audio menu is similar but you can preview selections by clicking here. Simply drag the song into your design to add it. And you'll see the floating toolbar displays audio options like adjust, volume, fade, and beat sync. You can also use generative AI to create your own image. At the top, choose your output and type in what you're looking for. Use five or more words to get the best outcome. Choose a popular style or click see all for more options. Click the generate image button and Magic Media will 
will give you four options. Choose any that you like. Just drag one into your design. Magic Media is worth exploring. It's a great time saver and incredibly fun to see what you can produce with the help of AI. Tables are great when you need to arrange text into rows and columns. Click and drag to the editor. Resize like this. Or this. Change colors here. Add borders and adjust color. Thickness and style. Double click to enter text. Click this button to open the full row menu. Or this button to access the column menu. Charts are a great way to visualize data in an engaging way. Here, you'll find two types of charts, static and interactive. Static charts are perfect for showing really quick stats, like progress or percentages. Drag it into your page. This will open a side panel where you can add your data. Change the chart style. Adjust colors, fonts, and even add animation. If you have substantial amount of data that needs to depict changes over time, it's worth considering an interactive chart like racing bars. This is an impactful way to show changing trends. Whereas tree map or pack circles allow you to nest a lot of data that can be explored as needed. Frames are present shapes that you can drag photos and videos into. And as you can see, there's a wide variety to choose from. When you drag a photo on top of the frame, the photo will snap in place. You can double click on the frame to move the image around within it. Smart Crop uses AI to find the most important part of the image. If you need to remove the image from the frame, right click and choose Detach Image. Grids will give you multiple frames in a page filling layout. And they aren't just for images. Filling them with color is a great way to section out areas of your design or video. The final thing to show you is mockups, a clever way to visualize your design on a product or object. You can drag in your image and it'll appear mocked up on a wall, a t-shirt, a cushion, pretty much anything you can think of. So that's your introduction to the Elements tab, home to the most extensive library of graphic elements. Ready to inspire and enhance your designs? We'd suggest pausing these videos and exploring it more. Try creating a design solely using one collection or start a new project based on an AI generated image. The creative possibilities are limitless, but we can't wait to see what you create.